Hey, what's everyone out there in YouTube land? Eric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief here at the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Well, check it out. Today, I've got the Sapphire HD Radeon 6970 Bad Company 2 Vietnam Edition video card. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this into my Intel-based PC, preparing for the iFinity Monitor Review, where I'm gonna show you a few games on the iFinity Monitors and the new HD 6970. So check it out. I have the card itself here, and you know from my videos before that this requires a six pin and an eight pin power connection. These are right here, I have these as well. Now, if you're gonna install this in any of your systems, make sure you have a very large case and lots of room because the card is very, very long, and you're gonna require two slots in the back of your case. So when you're looking at the back of your case, two of the slots that are back there are gonna be occupied. There's also a little locking slot in here for your video card when you install it. So. I'm going to go ahead and prepare to install this into the machine. I'm going to get it in here behind all my water cooling and stuff. Find a nice slot that it'll fit in and then install the card. All right then, I got the card installed in there. So after we've installed the card into the machine, we're going to go ahead and take a single screw back here and saw it onto the top bar up here to go ahead and secure the video card into place. What this does, this allows the video card not to pop out when you put the cables in the back or install the cables. Okay, so last but not least, we're gonna also install the six pin and eight pin power connect. So we'll start out by installing the six pin, very easily plugged in, followed by the eight pin. Now, if your power supply doesn't have these two cables, there are adapters that go from the Molex into these, but it is preferable if you do the power supply that does this, because that most likely is going to actually support the power of your card. It's a little bit difficult here to get the eight pin from here. But there we go. Now we have the eight pin and the six pin. So that wraps up the installation. It's very simple. Basically, if you do start your computer up and you have old drivers, like if you had an NVIDIA card or whatever, just go ahead and remove those drivers in the control panel. You just go in there device manager and find the part where you go ahead and remove and take out your drivers. Remove the old drivers, put in the CD, and then just start up and install the new drivers. If you have an AMD-based product, you can probably get away with just installing the new drivers for this card to get up and going. So now I'll follow along as we show you some gaming reviews on our triple monitor stand.